it was a memorable occasion as the Queen Amina College, Hakuri, Kaduna, class of 1977, made a chopstick Chinese restaurant to honor one of their own, Zainab Shamsuna Ahmed, who was recently reappointed as the Minister of Finance, Budget and Planning by the present administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. 42 years down the line, after graduation from the prestigious popular secondary school, Queen Amina College, Kaduna, not just in the northern region, but Nigeria as a whole, they met again. The Queen Amina College class of 1977 is the first set to bear the name Queen Amina College after it was changed from the Queens of Apostolic College. The popular Queen Amina College, Kaduna, is one of the oldest girls' secondary school in northern Nigeria. Now 79 years of existence and will be 80 by the year 2020. Established in the year 1940 by missionaries, is aimed at establishing solid foundation for all girls through academic and professional excellence, as well as discipline in order to become responsible citizens, as well as to make impact in the society. The school has produced women of high caliber, such as late Mariam Babangira, former deputy governor, Kaduna State, Pamela Sidawki, Victoria Gawan, Amina Mohammed, United Nations Deputy General, Justice Amina Algi, former Chief Justice of Kwara State, Safia Titi Deibu, Dr. Chineze Oktigba, consultant obstetrician with special interest in fatal medicine, member of the Royal College of Obstetrician and Gynecology, Larry Shaibu, Executive Director representing Nigeria at the World Bank, top civil servant and successful businessmen, amongst many others who have contributed immensely to the growth and development of the nation. The launch party in honor of the minister brought together fond memory as they danced and shared some old jokes and also remember their stay in Queen Amina College. The college prefect of the state was also recognized. Some of the old girls described the minister as quiet, gentle and diligent students who exhibited potentials of becoming a leader right from childhood and excel in nighty, while others describe her as a humble lady who possessed beauty, brains and humanity. The Honorable Minister for Finance, National Planning and Budget, Haji Zainab Samsuna Ahmed, we've come a long way with her. We went to the same secondary school. We first walked into Queen Amina College. It was Queen's of Apostles before he became Queen Amina College and we we're the first set that became Queen Amina College students. Zainab has been a very quiet, intelligent, diligent, stable and assuming personality. We, could have, uh, we saw the leadership quality in her, in her right from the very beginning. She is not one that is loud in class, but anytime there is an exam or test or something, she comes at least top five of that class. And a lot, we respected her and she also respected everybody around. Zainab and I were classmates in our A-levels. We attended the School of Basic Studies, Amadou Bello University, Zaria in 1977 stroke 78 and uh, to date it has uh, been confirmed that that set of uh, basic studies that did A levels 77 78 have produced very very um, high achieving I must say people that have served this country in different uh, capacities the likes of uh, Sanusi Barkindo, who is currently OPEC Secretary General, quite a number of ministers, including Bahari Bala, myself, and a few others. Uh, in the traditional area, also uh, Sanusi, Emir, His Royal Highness Emir Sanusi Sanusi, who is, uh, was Serbian governor and currently the Emir of Kanu. There are many professors. The person who owns the largest printing press, I must say, in this part of the country and probably growing to become the biggest in West Africa is also a classmate of ours, Al Haji Hayam Fani of Yalian Press. So, this is a set that has continuously produced people of high caliber who have been serving and uh, assisting in the growth and development of this country. Zainab is very quiet, 
right from the beginning when we were kids, actually she's always been very quiet and um, in fact times were even reserved to a fault kind of because things would be going on. I remember um, when we first uh, when we went to primary school, primary one, 1966 that is, and the uh, Sadonoku was on. Uh, normally when we, uh, we would, uh, from our house to the school is not that far, so we trek to the school. She'll be lagging behind on her own. We'll be saying, no, we'll stop myself and my cousin who uh, lives with us. we we'll wait for her. She takes her time to join us and then we'll go to school. But the day of the quiz, I remember we went to school and uh, uh, our teachers came into the class and said we should all start going home because there is something going on in the country. And then we we'll look for her. We couldn't find her. <laughs> we were crying. We looked around the school. And myself and my cousin Haji Amiro, she's right, she's dead now. And uh, so we started going home. What will you tell our parents when we get home? I'm sure she won't remember because I remember a lot of things that she doesn't actually. That's one thing I have. By the time we got home, my mom hid her underneath the bed. So we came and we are crying. <laughs> we have not seen here. Yeah, that's a, a family, a pet name in the house. So and then, of course, she came out and started laughing at us. She's a grandmother, she's an auntie, she's a sister. She's a loving person, and whoever stays with her is bound to learn lots. So far, so good. I have learned a lot. And um, sometimes people even say, come, how are you behaving like, a, like the minister? I said, because she taught me how to behave. So I want to believe that she's a very, very, very nice and humble person, and uh, she's somebody to reckon with. And uh, if you are with her, you achieve a lot of things. So far, so good. Her, I'm not surprised seeing her classmates doing all this because they know her worth. And she has been carrying everybody along. It was then time to unwind as a dance to old tunes, which brought nostalgic feelings. <laughs> It was time for advice and the classmate took turn to advise her to keep up the good work she has been doing and not to relent in contributing her quarter to the national development. As we share your joy, I want you to use this opportunity to help out some of our classmates that have not been able to come to this level in life. Do not forget 
Though I do not wish to ask that you people bombard her with requests because she's actually the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria with a population of over 170 million. So she may not likely do everything that you want. But please, stay up, do not leave us behind. Hold the hands of other people and lift them. Because that is what friendship is. That is comradeship. Let us be together. We will stand by you, we will stand beside you, we will stand with you. We will pray for you. I know you will deliver on your mandate because you have done that in NITO, you have done that in Kaduna Investment, you have done that in Naiti, you have done that in Budget, and you will do it in this enormous time. They saw something in you that is worthy and they made you minister. Live up to your expectation. We do not doubt you at all. One thing I'm going to say is that when it going gets tough, it's only the tough that keeps going. And uh, she stood to conquer. It's an added that was over. You can get a lot of a lot of things done within a short time. In, in terms of shared decision making, when we involve people around you. But sometimes you may want to get times you have to take those decisions yourself. Because those people around you cannot provide the kind of support you need. You have to recognize that. And uh, you have to know how not to push blames, but take the bull by the hand. Because sometimes somebody is, is supposed to do something very crucial and doesn't get it done at the right time. Instead of trading blames, hold that bull by the horns and get it done. Afterwards, you can do a post mortem. Because with that kind of attitude, there's no, nothing can stand in your way. You will be like a bulldozer who gets things done, even in a maze that is so complex. And it's good to have a listening ear. When I say listening, I don't mean listen to gossips. I mean, there are things people say to you. When people speak to you, it's better to listen at all. Listen to them, don't listen at them. There may be silent things they are saying, which you will get, particularly in the world of the civil servants, which you will uh, gain if you really listen. That some of us are meeting for the first time after 42 years. We glorify God because we are still getting younger and younger every day, and stronger every day, and more blessed. Once it's 2 o'clock and I still lie on my bed on Sunday, either herself or Maria will come and wake me up. Idiot. Stand up and go to MCS. <laughs> go for fellowship. And if it is during fasting period, whatever they buy, they buy in multiple of five. I sit with them in breakfast together. That unity, I pray that it will come back to this country. Because we know that our country is This is our class of 77. There is nobody who wants to do anything. If I am around and I tell my husband, he said, "If it is your finger, I go." Because we were bonded together, regardless of religion, and we continue like that. We will not break in this country by the grace of God. That unity that was there before it will come back because the class of seventy-seven will bring it back to Nigeria. And the light of spirit, I always see. In the quack 1977 <laughs> set, in the kind that one read us tonight. So, dinner or lunch is uh, getting cold. I'm sure people want to eat and be very brave. All the things that need to be said about Zainab have probably been said. When I was asked earlier to speak about her, I said three words always come to my mind when I'm thinking about her. One is beauty. Two, brains. Yes. The third is humility. Yes. And it is, it is very, very rare to find a person who combines these three attributes and remains level-headed. So we thank God Almighty that he's blessed you 
with beauty, with brains, and with humility to carry it with grace and dignity. We pray that Almighty Allah will guide and protect you as you go on to this your assignment. I particularly align myself with what uh, some former speakers have said, that for the president to consider you worthy of still being appointed. And then in my mind, I said, not only appointed, but given bigger responsibility, because it's like combining three other ministries now under one. That shows the level of confidence. And that confidence comes from working with you and seeing how you have held yourself, the kind of qualities you have exhibited, working always hard and tolerating. I have been a minister of state. I know what happens when you are a minister of state in the ministry. There are a lot of challenges. It's not always easy. And there are times that the ministry doesn't go well because the minister and the minister of state are fighting, quarreling, undermining each other. But that's the kind of thing Zena will never do. And she always spoke very well about the minister when she was in planning. Always. Despite challenges, there must have been challenges. I don't know, maybe she didn't explain it, but mostly there are challenges. Now see how God has decided to reward her. Not only did he elevate her to head, but to have two others, making three, all under her watch. She had made such an impact, yet scared because of the pressure that comes with such high expectations. I then reminded myself of some of Zainab's stalwart qualities. She's industrious, she's strict but she's fair, she's thorough and dogged. If it needs to be done, Zainab will get it done. A quality that really says a lot about Zainab. One quality that I genuinely like about Zainab is that she has a good heart. But my older sister, Asa, she has a really lovely way of saying it. She always says when she talks about Zainab, her heart is as beautiful, it's as, beautiful as her face. That's her normal. <laughs> So, for us, we are thankful to Allah for the opportunity He's given Zainab. We know she will do well, inshallah. It is our prayer, our hope, and dream and aspiration that the Nigerian economy will grow under her stewardship and that Nigerians and Nigeria will prosper in these few years. The Minister Zainab Shamsuna Ahmed thank her classmates for putting together such an event. She promised to make them proud as well as call on them to lend her support and prayers as she carries on with various tasks given to her by President Muhammad Buhari. I want to thank all of my sisters from QAC 77 for this very, very thoughtful arrangement that you have made to bring all of us together because indeed on the WhatsApp group we'll be talking about Organizing a meeting just to uh, be ourselves, put down our hair, catch up with each other, and have fun. And I think this is that event. I want to thank you because you took a day, which is a Tuesday, even though it's a public holiday, but I'm sure it's very awkward because people are working on Monday and then people are working again tomorrow. So it must be very significant sacrifice that you have taken to make it possible uh, for you to be here today. Apart from the QAC 77, I have my sisters here. I want to thank you for coming.
Girls Association promised the minister to always stand by her and give her the necessary support.